Good morning, guys. Um, today definitely already started way different than I expected. So I was uh, waking up this morning, getting ready to go to church, and I was trying to figure out what am I going to do with Gracie, the dog. And so I was like, either I could take her with me, kind of leave her in the truck when I go in, you know, I'd only be there for like an hour. Do I crate her? Do I leave her in a crate in the tent? Like, what do I do? And I get tagged in a thing on Facebook, and it's Gracie's owner. And she was posting this post, I guess, saying someone took her or stole her or she got away or something. She just liked to get her back. And I was like, it looks like her, but there's no collar on the dog. and But there was a collar in um, the picture. And then I like click on it, and I'm like trying to zoom in, see if she's missing an eye. I can't tell. And then down in the comments, she commented and said, she's missing an eye. And I knew instantly it was her. And so it was a pretty cool feeling to know that I got to give her back or be able to take her back. And so I sent her a message, and I was just like hoping she'd see it. Because sometimes when you're not friends with people, it's shit, or it puts it over in a different folder. You never see it. Yes, I'm, in, I'm just down the street from her. I just dropped her off. But anyways, yeah, so she um, she reached back, and I was like, all right, I can come drop her off. So you could tell that her and the kids were super happy, and I found out her name is not Gracie, and her name is River. So technically, my saving grace was a river, and that's probably what I'm going to title today. But it was just such a cool feeling that one she got back to her owner which is awesome that's something she needed to do as much as I like the dog as much as you know she was cool and company and all that I would be devastated if I lost my dog and to be able to be the person to give the dog back is an awesome feeling as well and you could tell that I sent her the link to the video that I found her and I'm assuming she watched stuff, so she was pretty happy that River was taken care of. She was super grateful. We we hugged when when I left, and you could tell instantly Gracie or River was at home and started running around with like another dog and the kids and stuff like that. So just a super super good ending. But I guess that's kind of I don't know. We'll we'll wrap this video into. I know a lot of you are sad that I gave her back, and I lot I know a lot of you are happy. I'm extremely happy. I am not in the uh, right um, uh, situation for a dog right now. I have some that I need to get in Texas, but I need a fence up. And that was the bad thing was, luckily this dog was pretty good and was used to sticking around. But if I brought my dogs up, they'd probably wander off because they're not used to it up here and they want to explore. So I'm trying to get a fence up. And then I just... I've got a lot of stuff going on where I'm like driving into town, having to get lumber and this and that. And I don't want to have to keep putting a dog in the truck and leaving the dog in the truck when I go into stores and stuff. And I can't leave her in the tent because it's just a tent. I can't like lock it up. She could potentially chew her way out. So it's just one of those things that I think River came into my life to give me company and give me a peace of mind and fill my heart with what I needed in that moment but it filled my heart to be able to give it back to give River back to her family and plus they're right close next to the post office I'm sure I could see River at any time and it wouldn't be a big deal so I know I'm gonna be able to see the dog I know that they could watch the videos of how well taken care of River was and it's just a great awesome thing and so I just, I feel good about the entire situation. I miss church because of it, because now there's no way I'm able to make it in time, but that's fine. I know that, uh, I don't know. I know Dutch, if he even watches the Coffee Crockers, he'll know this is a good reason why to um, miss church and stuff, but it just, I think it was one of those things that everything just happened the way it needed to happen, and I'm excited that she's back, and I'm happy. And it made me realize like how much I miss my dogs, I guess. And so that's like one of my big steps is to get a fence in 
and get it ready so I can bring my dogs up. I am extremely excited for that. But I guess to wrap up this video, it won't be too long. It's even when, I guess, things aren't looking the best and you get something, just a, a glimpse of hope like, like Gracie or, or River in my situation, sometimes you just need that little bump like you're going like this and it's not going so great. You need that little bump just to give you motivation to keep going up. And I and, and it did. And it got me in this good mindset of I'm happy. I'm excited. I got some company. It just, it just it was a morale boost. And so I'm hoping that something in your life, if it's not going that great, could be a little more morale boost. And it just takes one simple little thing to really set it off so maybe if you see someone today and they look down just go up and tell them that uh you know you care about them even if you don't know them, just say you know i just i know you don't know me but just know that i care about you and i hope you have a good day just smile at somebody just hold the door for someone when you're walking out and they're walking in just something nice today because sometimes it just takes that little bump to really set it off and put things in motion so maybe you can be the river of someone's life so we'll just leave it at that today hope you guys have an awesome awesome uh, weekend hopefully this will be a good week i think the weather's supposed to be good i can get a lot of stuff done around uh, the property i am working on something there will be a video on the crockers coming out tonight but guys what did you think of my hair I know y'all watched it because there was a lot of views on the Sawyer's uh, video. You think I kept the mullet and it's tucked in or I got rid of it? I got rid of it. And yeah, I got gapped up a little bit right here thanks to uh, Jacob and his scissors. He was scissor happy. He kind of uh, gapped me up some. So uh, thanks Sawyer Ridge Farm for uh, gapping my head up. <laughs> nah, I... I enjoy everything, but guys, we'll see y'all tomorrow uh, or later today on The Crockers.